Good morning. Welcome back to Bible and Blues, and uh, welcome back to my to my regular watchers. And if you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way is engagement. Uh, so, um, uh, and it's, it's funny. I, I, I'm not doing the theist atheist thing right now. Like I said, I've tons of stuff going on, but <laughs> but I. Uh, I had a comment on uh, one of my videos, and it was actually, uh, it'll make sense in a minute, but the comment was actually very simple. It was, just another fundy moron. Okay, that's what they called me. Okay. And that's, okay, I, 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 I've been called worse by my, my by people I love, let alone, you know, comments. I've got a little thicker skin than that. Uh, you know, YouTube does that to you. But, um, the, uh, the, the, the concept uh, is 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 first off is, is funny because it was on a video where I'm talking about uh, PhDs, people with high levels of ed of education, uh, saying that there is a Jesus, and I wasn't even arguing the divinity of Jesus. And then I read my, read a Bible passage, which I always do. Um, and so it was. I'm gonna have to chalk that one up as uh, due to circumstantial reasons of where which video it was on calling me a fundy moron when you're on something where i'm not even claiming the divinity of jesus and i'm not and, and i'm bringing up the concept of historical reference and historical documentation um it was kind of kind of dumb you know, I just want—I just want to comment about that. If you're gonna bring an argument, I mean, it's, I mean, obviously this person's just a troll. That, that, that's, that's all they are is a troll. Um, but uh, and that's fine. I did comment back, um, and yes, I—I I, I went to the childish. Uh, I know you are, but what am I? Concept, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, but you know, they're they're fundamental atheists. So I, I called them. A, if you, you may very well be a fundamental atheist, but calling yourself a moron might be a little heavy on self-criticism. But just the concept of, you know, I mean, you know, somebody that didn't want to be challenged. And who likes to be challenged in their worldview? Uh, but they didn't want to be challenged in their belief. Um, so, you know, anything that's going to be uh, against that is, you know, must be wrong. Therefore, you must be a moron. So, anyway, that's, uh, that was kind of, you know, uh, what I experienced this morning uh, when I turned on my computer at, you know, 5.30 this morning. So... So what we're going to do is we're going to start into Proverbs. And the reason is, is Proverbs and Psalms go very hand in hand. Um, uh, frequently, uh, as an example, Billy Graham, uh, most of his life would, would, would go on a monthly program as part of his reading. It, was a, it took him a month uh, to do it. And he would read, you know, five Psalms and one Proverbs every day okay and you know this really which is really incredible uh, I've tried to do it and I get distracted I you know the squirrel comes up you know what I mean uh, but the reason for that is that there's 31 Psalms and a hundred or oh, sorry 31 Proverbs to get it right Cameron uh, there's 31 Proverbs and there uh, there are 150 Psalms and that really sets it up very comfortably um, you can take uh, Psalm 119 and split it in half because it is such a long one, um, and you know, and, and work on that with your with your proverbs or something along those lines. And you can do something like that to uh, to, to get that extra proverb in. Um, so, uh, but Psalms is discusses your relationship with God. That's a, that's kind of that, that's kind of the purpose of Psalms. Is praising Jesus, uh, the Psalms of Ascent, uh, all all the difference. It, it's about praising God. It's about your relationship with God. Proverbs is your relationship with other men and living life in general. Um, and so uh, yeah, these are the, 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 they believe Solomon wrote most of the sayings that com comprise the Book of Proverbs. But other authors, including including Agur and King Lemuel, okay, the scribes of King Hezekiah, Hezekiah, copied additional proverbs of Solomon to form chapters twenty-five through twenty-nine. 
Uh, Solomon's Proverbs were written between 970 and 930 B.C. Hezekiah's scribes compiled the additional Proverbs of Solomon between 729 and 686 B.C. Nothing is known of Agur or King Lemuel, so the dates of composition of their Proverbs are unknown. Okay. Uh, so, th this is just the concepts of everyday life. What do you battle? Okay. So we're going to go chapter 1, and we're just just like we did the other, uh, like we went through Psalms. And this will just take a lot less time is all. Instead of three, three and a half months, we should be done in a month or just a little over, depending on how much time I take off. Chapter 1, Prologue, Purpose, and Theme. The Proverbs of Sol Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For attaining wisdom and discipline, for understanding words of insight, for acquiring a disciplined and prudent life, doing what is right and just and fair, for giving prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. Let the, let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning get guidance for understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. Fools despise wisdom and discipline. Exhortation to women's to 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 embrace wisdom. Let's get this right. We'll get, this, we'll get to that other part later. Exhortations to embrace wisdom. Warning against enticement. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They will be they will be a garland to grace your head, and a chain to adorn your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not give to, give in to them. If they say, "Come along with us." And let and let's lie and wait for someone's blood. Let's waylay some harmless soul. Let's let's swallow them alive like the grave, and whole like those who go down to the pit. We will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our houses with plunder. Throw you, throw in your lot with us, and we will share a common purse. My son, do not go along with them. Do not set foot on their paths, for their feet rush into sin. They are swift to shed blood. How useless to spread a net in full view of all the birds. Let these wise these. These men lie in wait for their own blood. The, the way they waylay only themselves. Such is the end of all who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away the lives of those who get it. Warning against rejecting wisdom. Wisdom calls calls aloud in the street. She raises raises her voice to, in the public squares. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. In the gateways of the city, she makes her speech. How long will you, will you simple ones love your simple ways? Footnote in there. Hebrew, Sheol. Simple ones, Sheol. How long will mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge? If you had responded to my rebuke, you would have poured, I would have poured out my heart to you and made my thoughts known to you. But since you rejected me when I called and no one gave heed when I stretched out my hand, since you ignored my, all my advice and would not accept my rebuke, I in turn will laugh at your disaster. I will mock you. I will mock when calamity overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm. When disaster sweeps over you like a whirlwind. When distress and trouble overwhelm you, then they will call to me, but I will not answer. They will look to me, but I will not, but, but will not find me, since they hate knowledge, and did not choose and did not choose fear to fear the Lord, since they would not accept my advice and spurn my rebuke. They will eat the fruit of their ways. And be filled with the fruit of, of their schemes. For the waywardness of the simple will kill them. And the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear or harm. Here is the reading of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is just the prologue. This is just the entrance. And it talks about the, the wisdom, of, you know, accepting wisdom. Okay. And the warnings against rejecting wisdom. Um... You'll hear it said very frequently. Uh, they, they refer to wisdom as a, as a, a, a feminine. Uh, she raises her voice in the public squares. Okay, you'll see, you'll see that quite a bit through the proverbs, um, and this really is it's it, oh, much of this is going to be uh, as a father would give advice to a son. Okay, um, so in in, uh, in in verse eight, listen, my son, to your father's instruction. And do not forsake your mother's teaching. Okay, <clears throat> so it's, so it's about 
you know, teaching your children. This is this is things you would teach your children, as, and it's uh, and it was, it's, it's things the wi of wisdom to teach everybody. Uh, let the wise listen and add to their learning. Okay, so some of it's common sense, but you know, some of the stuff that you might already know. But there's going to be stuff in here and add to your wisdom. Learn these things. Okay, uh, you know, so. Sinners enticing all the time, and many times in my life, I gave in to that enticement. Um, and so we're going to go through that, and we're going to, that was just the first chapter. Um, uh, there was quite a bit you could unpack in there if you want to. But it's uh, time for me to get my day going. Uh, God bless. I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, be sure to uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, be sure to subscribe and follow me. Uh, and uh, check me out on VidMe. I've got a channel there, and I have a second YouTube channel at this point in time. Not much going on yet, but, it, but there will be. Uh, so beyond that, you know, have a great day. It is Wednesday. We have overcast day. Uh, we might actually get some rain today. It'd be really appreciated um, to get some uh, some of that. Uh, my car's my car looks like you could use a wash. So uh, anyway, have a great day. God bless.